Actually, Nick, you've part answered the, the next next question. So I'm probably just going to invite the wider panel just if there's anything else you want to add. So the, the next question that was kind of lined up was, are there any other co any other considerations outside of kind of the coax itself um, in order to support stuff like DOCSIS 3.1 and any future specifications? You've touched on a few there, Nick. So just to the rest of the panel, anything else you'd like to kind of add from that aside from the coax? Any other considerations for the future? Well, I think one of the big things we're going to be looking at is actually the coax cable itself with the attenuation that comes through the coax cable. Exactly. The coax cable, the more attenuation, the less signal you're going to get at the end of it. If we keep going up in frequency, you're going to have to start finding ways of boosting the signal, changing the signal, reinvigorating the signal as you go down the line. You can't just keep going further and further, higher in frequency. It will cost somewhere. And this is one of the sort of the considerations with coax. The further you go down that three, four, 500 meters, 300 yards, 700, 900 yards, you're getting into the area where all of a sudden there's not a lot left. So if you look at, if you look at a piece of coax as a water hose, by the end of those one kilometer, there's not a lot of water coming out unless you've got enough pressure behind it. So for me, that is one of the considerations and all of these networks have been built 450, 600, 800, one gig max. No one started thinking about what do we do at 1.8. So there's still some rebuilds that are going to go in. When you start thinking about rebuilds, what do you do? Do you add an amplifier? Do you rebuild with fiber over it? So these considerations will come in. So we need to find ways of if we're going to keep the coax boosting the signal, making sure that signal gets to the end of it. Maybe, I, yeah, maybe what I can add to that, Tony, is, well, from, again, not, not all over Europe, but in the Netherlands, we have already, from the beginning, star-shaped networks, um, uh, like a telephony network, uh, with uh, fiber, fiber lengths up to you, as suitable for UHF frequencies. But uh, what we found is I'm connected, for instance, to a network already with one gigahertz, uh, one gigabit, gigabit speed available on an HFC network. But I know that the coaxial part of the network has been very thoughtfully upgraded and, and, and secured and, and, and improved to even make that possible. Because the higher data speeds, it was mentioned before, if you go to higher data speeds in, in, in quad modulation and high IP, high speed IP traffic, every little suck out, which was not a problem before, becomes now a problem and gives you a bit error rate. And that was in the in the beginning of, of, of in the days of of, of uh, um, standard distribution, even uh, analog, there was no problem at all. But with data transmission, and these networks will, uh, if they are not yet, they will be fully used for data transmissions only, coaxial networks, I mean, that becomes a very sensitive factor. So it's not only the cable, but all the components will be, uh, well, will, will be very important to, uh, to upgrade it. 